Okay, let's take this um, 2001, I think, um, late 2001. It's a facelift model, BMW M5 individual, so it's the highest spec of M5 that you can get for a spin. Hopefully my video camera will sit quite happily there. Um, all the uh, gauges come up the way they should. There's still one, two, still five bars showing on the uh, um, on the service indicator. And off we go. I've just done a fast 120 miles on this, and it's performed superbly. Really, really like these. Off we go. As you can see, just then it's got electric steering column on it. Total spec. This one's got absolutely everything. Including sat nav, which is about probably about to start talking to me. What do you think? At the end there we of go. The road, turn, turn that down a bit. You know that works at least. In fact, I can't find anything that doesn't work. In fairness, everything does exactly as uh, as it should do. Starts on the button. There's no misfiring, no hesitancy, no overheating. Oh, I think we're getting a nice clear run actually. We'll put the sport mode in. There we go. Beautiful sound of a fast V8. Into fifth. Into sixth. Uh, it just storms along. So yeah, motor-wise, no misfiring, hesitancy or overheating at all, just oodles and oodles of power. Um, really, really nice, precise gearbox on it. The whole uh, drivetrain feels solid, there's not a clunk, groan, rattle, squeak anywhere. If I back off the throttle, there's no nasty noises at all. It was only actually MOT'd a couple of days ago, I think. Showing 140, just about to turn over. Well, it, it will say it's done 144,000 miles because I'll be using it, but it's just about to turn over to 143. Um, and in really, really fine fettle, I think, this one. Aircon's nice and cold. The only thing it doesn't have on is a CD stacker. All the wiring for it is in the back, but uh, the stacker unit isn't there. But it's got cruise control and everything. Steers beautifully, brakes beautifully. I really can't criticise it in terms of the way it uh, drives, handles, does anything. I'm afraid that's about all the speed we're going to do, I think, because we're now stuck behind a horse box. Thought it was too good to last. Um, trip computers there, and on a, a fast run down from, uh, from Derbyshire just now, it's averaged uh, 26 miles to the gallon, which isn't bad, considering it's a 5 litre motion one of these, and I wasn't hanging about either. I might as well take it out of sport mode, really. So. But unlike the smaller sort of three series M, you know, three series M cars, these are quite happy to. Um, they don't jolt your fillings every time you go over a bump or anything. They're uh, really quite civilized cars. Six-speed box, obviously. And you can just listen to that V8 all day. There's not much more I can say about it really, just gets on with the job. Um, very sure-footed, no, uh, no issues with it darting around or anything, it tracks perfectly straight. It's an absolute joy to drive. That's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further info. End.